I'm just a young woman since in my childhood longing for a whole complete family. For those who do not know me, I grown up without a father, an earthly father, to mold, to educate, to train, and to stand as a, as a father beside me. In spite of that, my mother did her best to give me a better future. Though she cannot provide material things, that others have, she never fails me to teach that there is God and only God can help me in my journey. And by that, I always seek for divine guidance since then. And amazingly, God directed me in the right path, a right path to seek and to follow Him after His righteousness. As I go along my, in my journey, I never forget that longing of my heart a longing that no one can satisfy except I experience that with Jesus. And so, I hardly prayed and asked God for a divine partner in life because I realized that if my parents cannot give it to me, why not me in my own family? Yes, exactly. God is faithful. My Redeemer is faithful and true. He perfectly, amazingly, and timely hear the cry of my soul. In His mercy, He gave me exactly what I asked for, but definitely different what I do not like. Why? Because He still have weaknesses that He need to surrender it to God. But you know what? His weaknesses has been God's instrument for me to be sanctified. That is why being in marriage relationship is a higher step of sanctification. Now, in my present situation, every morning God reveals His mercies are new. He let me experience the sweetest type of heaven where the Spirit of the Lord presides. He gave me a spiritual partner and an offspring to take care for. Friends, nothing is, is, is impossible with God. I know and I do believe I am not the only one who experienced the same story in life. This all I can say, to have a perfect happy family, let God write your own love story. Give it to Him, surrender and empty your cup that God may fill it. Don't focus on material things, instead focus on divine guidance. Everything will follow because it is not that satisfies the one thing that lacks in your soul. A hymn says, A tent or a cottage, oh why should I care? They're building a palace for me over there. That's a heavenly home. Though, though exiled from home, yet still I may sing, Oh glory to God, I'm a child of a king. Before and since we got married, we both served the Lord together. We both doing ministry of Jesus, to tell the world the good news of salvation. And currently, we both serve as medical volunteer, healing the sick in all aspects of their life, emotionally, mentally, physically, and most especially spiritually, knowing that we are all sick and need a divine physician.